Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting factorial equation. It is x plus 5 factorial over x plus 1 factorial equal to 7 factorial, where x belongs to integer greater than or equal to negative 1. So let's get started by writing factorial formula first. n factorial, we know it is the product of all natural numbers from 1 to n. So we can write n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to 1. And recursive formula n factorial we can write n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. Now let us apply both the formulas to our equation. So I will write x plus 5 factorial over x plus 1 factorial equal to 7 factorial. Let us apply x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 1 factorial over x plus 1 factorial RHS is 7 factorial. Now I can cancel x plus 1 factorial with x plus 1 factorial. So we can write our equation as x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 equal to 7 factorial. 7 factorial is 7 times 6 factorial. 7 times 720. So this product will be 5040. If I will add 5 and 2, then it is 7, which is equal to the addition of 4 and 3. So let us club these two brackets all together and these two brackets all together. So I can write x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 5 times x plus 2 equal to 5040. Let's multiply. So I can write x square plus 4x plus 3x, 7x. 4 times 3, 12. x square, 5x plus 2x, 7x. 5 times 2, 10. Equal to 5040. x square plus 7x plus this 12 we can write. 11 plus 1 times x square plus 7x. This 10 we can write 11 minus 1 equal to 5040. a plus b, a minus b. So we can write difference of two square formulas in LHS. It will be x square plus 7x plus 11 whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 5040. Let me write here. x square plus 7x plus 11 whole square minus 1 equal to 5040. Add 1 to both sides. So this will be over x square plus 7x plus 11 whole square equal to 5041. 
x square plus 7x plus 11 whole square equal to 71 square is 5041. Let us consider square root both sides. So I will write here square root symbol. So square root and square will be over from our RHS and LHS also we will cancel square root with square. So we can write x square plus 7x plus 11. This will be equal to plus minus 71. So we can write two equations from here x square plus 7x plus 11 equal to 71 and x square plus 7x plus 11 equal to negative 71. So from here x square plus 7x 11 minus 71 minus 60 equal to 0. Our first quadratic equation and x square plus 7x plus 82 equal to 0 our second quadratic equation let us solve both the equations one by one so i will write x square plus 7x minus 60 equal to 0 equation is quadratic we can use quadratic formula it is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a as per our equation a is 1 b is 7 c is negative 60 let us apply so x will become minus 7 plus minus square root of 7 square minus 4 times 1 times negative 60 over 2 times 1. We can write minus 7 plus minus square root of 7 square is 49 plus 4 times 60. So 240 over 2 minus 7 plus minus square root of 289 over 2 or we can write minus 7 plus minus 17 over 2. Let me write here x equal to minus 7 plus 17 over 2 minus 7 minus 17 over 2. So this will become 10 over 2 and here we can write negative 24 over 2. Value will be 5 here and value will be negative 12 here. But condition on x was x should be greater than or equal to negative 1. So negative 12 is less than negative 1. We will reject. So only accepted value of x will be x equal to 5. Now our second quadratic equation it was x square plus 7x plus 82 equal to 0. Let us check discriminant only b square minus 4ac. So here a is 1, b is 7, and c is 82. So I will write 7 square minus 4 times 1 times 82. 7 square is 49 minus this is 328. So we are getting discriminant negative. So we will get complex solutions. So rejected. So our x will be 5 only the accepted value of x 
let us cross examine i will write here verification x equal to 5 lhs so x plus 5 factorial over x plus 1 factorial so i will write 5 plus 5 factorial over 5 plus 1 factorial so this will become 10 factorial over 6 factorial we can use recursive formula so we can write 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial over 6 factorial now 6 factorial and 6 factorial will be over so we will get 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 we can write 10 times 72 times 7 10 times this product is 504 so we will get 5040 which is our 7 factorial and this is our rhs hence verified so x equal to 5 will be our final answer i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching till next video take care